Over here we have the peace pipe crew, but we're missing Tyrone. <laughs> He's getting it all warmed up. Fantastic. And then Bruno's over here eating donuts. <laughs> oh, are they fresh donuts? Ooh, that's my favorite. Like a varnish? Yeah, it's like varnish. It's, it's just sap. It's sap from the coconut. From the... Not too much, huh? Not too much. Yeah, it's very strong. Very strong. I have uh, to take Gracian back on the bicycle. <laughs> oh, you might be swaying around a little. Gracian, he's a, he's a tough kid. He can handle a crash or two. Okay. What you want to do is, is instead of lighting, you don't want to suck hard. You want to try to see the smoke coming up and make sure it goes back in the hole. Okay. You don't see anything. You have, you have tried before? Yes, plenty. It's almost killed me a few times. It's almost killed me a few times. There was one time, this like last week or two weeks ago, I had to go just sit on the beach and focus on living for a few hours before returning <laughs> back to talking with anyone. It can be a lot of fun though. Yeah, good, good stuff. This guy, I tried one time with a brownies. Yeah. Yeah. I said I would never eat brownies again. Brownies? Brownies. Brownies. Oh, brown. Edi oh, oh, I've been so screwed off brownies before. So, those will. And First time I ever tried marijuana, it was, you know, dabs. It's like this, it's concentrate. I took three and a half dab brownies. Three and a half. I, did, I didn't know anything about it. I was like, oh, you know, I might as well try and feel this. And it was a... Whew, I thought I was going to die. Yeah, it was a... Me, me, me too. And, uh, I hope you're not going to die. Yeah. Was, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah like I might just... I was outside. It was cold. I yeah. couldn't move. I yeah. knew there was nice dinner inside. I didn't want it. This. Yeah, I know. I, uh, edibles will fuck you. They, they put a blanket on me, yeah. and they, they were talking. <laughs> I can hear, but I cannot do anything. So. Holy shit. And it was on, only one. Huh? Yeah, one? Wait. Fuck. Oh, before we have uh, been smoking. Uh, yeah. And then you tried but one of those. But this one, I said, oh, you will not feel anything. I wonder if it was a dab one. All righty. Can I give it back to him? Go ahead, Bruno. No, no, I'm Go. good. I'm good too. Okay. Done. Beautiful. Oh, Bruno got a big hit. <coughs> oh man, you're gonna be feeling that one, buddy. <laughs> we'll check up on you in like an hour. <coughs> it would be like a <coughs> <coughs> like me <coughs> coughing. Yeah, you're good. You're, you're gonna be set for a while, man. Good luck. I, sh I should go back home. <coughs> You should you should go for a swim in the ocean is what you should do. Look at all these coconuts. These kids are opening them all up and this is a very hard job. They're deshelling the, the coconut from the main husk and it is a lot of work. This is impressive. They do the hard work. Yeah, yeah, they're they're working hard. You work when the sun is good And yeah. This, this is impressive. Look at all this. It's a lot of coconut. A lot of white nematongs are going to love rubbing all this stuff on their skin. What you just smoked. It's called a dab. That's what we do. You know, like, like when you have a coke. It's too, too complicated. I cannot learn a kill bus. I cannot learn a my head. I forget what was in there. And now everything is abbreviation. People say, do you see the CEO of the world? It's only... Bruno's... I have no idea what they are talking about. CEO <laughs> he doesn't... Bruno's so high, he's counting all the coconuts. <laughs> Even you, I'm sure you have hard time to do MTSS. All those fucking words. They'll get you. Yeah, yeah, Chuck, you skid on that one and surf. Yeah, I'm not surfing. 
Yeah. Tyrone, you can hold your coconut up in the air. Bruno, maybe you can sail or something. All right, I don't know how I'm going to get in this one. Um, I really wish I had a tripod. Hey Chuck, you should be here. Don't, don't film Chuck, enough of Chuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Chuck's too old now. Aren't we all? Yeah, you, all you guys are. Look, Look at you all. Look. It's 20 years difference between them. Yeah, he's... Tyrone, you don't have a single gray hair, do you? No. You're looking but fresh in, and snippy. In, in other parts, but you cannot see. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, come here real quick. You can see, oh, I'm Swiss. Look at the size of this thing. Wow, that's just a teenager. The big ones come out at night. <laughs> so I've been uh, spending my entire day just kind of for myself, processing the, the DMT trip I had last night and what I'm beginning to find is I ingest more and more entheogens naturally occurring, um, particularly psilocybin and dimethyltryptamine, um, is that the natural world uh, seems to be an intelligence of some sort that's uh, far more advanced than we are as humans, almost as if it's, uh, it's God. And the reason why we're the human race is in such shambles nowadays is because we've broken our symbiotic relationship with the, the natural world. We've we've strayed away from from God as we we depict, which uh, I find somewhat re ironic, uh, considering that man seems that they have created God through religion, when in reality. It's the natural world that we're we're destroying, and we're a, we're a part of it in a very profound way. We're we're connected to it, and we've we've really broken away from that. And uh, because we're no longer in a state of symbiosis with the natural world, as we kill it, we're essentially killing ourselves. Yeah. So last night I was. Uh, it was one of the most beautiful things and terrifying things that I've ever experienced. I completely thought I had died. Um, after wandering into the lagoon, I was walking through some fantasial, celestial plane of just this embryotic fluid that I was just born in, and it was this warm lagoon covered by a full moon. Uh, I couldn't see land. I, I didn't know where I was. I didn't know who I was or what I was. I had no recollection of my physical body. I was trying to touch myself and hold myself, but I could feel nothing. Um, I remember as I was coming down, the first thing that I could recognize myself feeling is, is by crossing my arms and holding myself. And uh, but before that point, I. I was sure that I had died, but uh, I was just being reborn, apparently. As that was occurring, I was in a, in a dimension that was incredibly beautiful. It seemed as if the natural world was alive, and there were spirits everywhere, and it, 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 it's, it's nothing that I can put into words, but uh, I just want to let you know that there's 
way more magic to the ex this existence that we're experiencing than, uh, than you've been told or have been led to believe. Everything's breaking. It's this saltwater air that just does not seem to work with this place. Alrighty. This place does not like technology very much, but that's okay. I like it. It's a beautiful evening. The sun's just perfect. It's cool. It's look at the birds. Wow, what a fucking place. Look at that. It's, everything's just magical here. I don't know what it is about this place. I'm excited to come back. I only have two days left. Been here for a couple months. Hey there, Mr. Chuck. That looks beautiful. It sure does. I hope the audio on this thing's alright. Um, all my microphones broke, so all I got is the internal audio on the camera itself. But I'm going to come back to this place. Oh, you got a little puff. <laughs> I was over here, and the reason why I went and grabbed my camera, I was looking at this, and I'm like, oh shit, I really wish I had my camera right now. And there was just some beautiful eagle rays just swimming about, and uh, what a... What an incredible spot. I love the stairs are just falling apart here. And here's the pier. Oh, there's a bunch of them out there right now. I was swimming out there earlier um, and they just swam through this beautiful big thing of there's a bunch of eagle rays just swimming around and like, wow, it's so cool to be a part of. Just swimming through them. They're such interesting creatures. They're plentiful here. Yeah, I did uh, about three grams of psilocybin mushrooms. They're they're my favorite thing. You know, that's I think that's my thing is is mushrooms. I think there's something very sacred about them. Um, you know, I I personally believe that when they're talking about the Holy Communion, that they were eating mushrooms. That's 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 my belief at least, you know, whatever yours may be, it's up to you, but, you know, I, I get very spiritual and kind of one with, with everything when I consume these, these mushrooms, and I don't know why they're illegal, that's really fucked up. Yeah, like, why, why try to control someone else uh, as to what they're going to eat, or, it's kind of a, a scary sign right there. Um, people are going to jail for having these things, and... Same thing with weed, Mike. God, I'm upset that I only have two days left here. It's been a good couple of months, and uh, I'm upset to go. You know, my personal opinion, I just want to see this place kept left alone, no development, and I don't care. I think it's perfect the way it is, but, uh, you know, things change, and white people come. Over here, we have a, a couple traditional style canoes. These are always picturesque, just right here. They, they hand make these, and they're just perfect. There's so much detail and work and care that goes into them. And it's, there's something special about them, because, you know, that's kind of allows people to get food out here. They have this connection to them. And look at them. They're fucking beautiful. Wow. Holy shit. This is incredible. Wow, look at this. You know, oh, there goes the gimbal again. Second gimbal this trip. Fuck. <laughs> These things aren't cheap. 
<laughs> oh wow. Fuck. I think it's dead. Anyways, we're gonna sit out here, enjoy the sunset. It's gone limp. Um, oh well. It's still, that's okay. I'm just gonna spin it around because it's broken now, I think. That's really funny. Oh yeah, look. Fuck. Look at my feet. The Fanning Island feet right here. Full of infections and from the reef out here. Infections are healing. You know, it's they're looking way better now. I've had these things like spewing pus and there's all sorts of nasty stuff. I'm like, oh no! I woke up one in the middle of the night once and uh, my, my toe was, it was throbbing really bad. I'm like, what the hell? And so I, hold on. Anyways, yeah, so it was throbbing really bad and I, I and I start poking it. I'm like, oh, this isn't good. So, you know, my thing, I like to pick at things and squeeze things. And so I, I just squeezed it just a little bit. It started spraying like this crazy pus all over the mosquito net. It, it wasn't just like a little, it was like, pssst. Just the end of my toe was, it got my eyes and I was like, fuck. Body parts just do that out here every now and then, I guess. There's a certain purity to nature. It's like it's a living intelligence. It's just it's really beautiful. Over there, there's eagle rays playing in the water. So it's interesting because Tyrone was telling me that, you know, when I did the DMT and like the, it, it was as if spirits were carrying me out into the lagoon and I was like reborn in a very, became a part of something very, holy shit, it was really intense. Yeah, Tyrone was telling me that there's a, a trail that goes right through basically where our, around our houses and people will see like, the spirits from the ancient Polyne Polynesians walk from, you know, one end of the island into the lagoon and try to cross just by foot. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if that has anything to do with what I experienced, but uh, it was real interesting. We're a part of a living, breathing masterpiece. This is what it's all about. I like it out here. I've really uh, fallen in love with this place. Like a floating atoll in the middle of the ocean. It's a really magical place. And uh, I'll definitely be coming back. You can see all the flying fish. They're all, all jumping around. They're just coming out to look at the sunset. I'm not one to get caught up in any sort of belief. I just. For me, it's the experience, you know? It's, it's there. I don't believe in anything. I just experience it.